Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect Legendary Edition where I finally took a pretty decent screenshot of my character's face so I can show off on my, because my friends on Discord last night were like, show us picture! And I was like, ah, my phone died because I had a picture on my phone, but nowhere else. Anyway, um, right now, that's right, we need to go talk to Fist because we have Rex and we have Garrus now. It is time. Although, hey, I do want to see. I don't think there's a anything. The excavation team has run into oh. an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. I can only assume that the Hanar. <laughs> interfere with like every holy moly what it looks so much bright <gasps> there's my baby there's supposed to be codex entries on the hull don't huh me what the normandy combines the best of alliance technology and Turian engineering it shows what we're capable of if we work together don't flirt with me boy it's okay you can flirt with me holy cow my ship is so beautiful. The Normandy SR-1 is the single most beautiful piece of ship technology that's ever been created, and I will stand by that. Forever. And this whole ramp area is different. Oh yeah, there's a keeper here, I forgot. Um, this whole ramp area just looks brighter and like shinier. Like, I feel like in the original edition, it was, like, all, like, dark and gray. Like, everything was. But now, like, look at all this. Look at all this detail. Oh, my gosh. I'll, no. I don't know. I think I've said it a million times. But there's something about the Normandy. Like, I never understood, like, people who, like, you know, like, water ships, vessels, and, like, planes, and aircraft and all that stuff i was just like they're like people like lose their minds over it. i'm like i don't get it it's what cars that kind of thing binary helix has settled out of court but the with normandy group that had accused the genetics corporation of fraud normandy's beautiful the krogan group had contracted binary helix to perform studies with a long-range goal of curing their genetic sterilization the group later sued for a return of investment money when the study produced no viable results I mean, that's kind of, I guess if they promised a cure and didn't give it to you, it's one thing. But if they had said that, you know, we're just going to try our best and it wasn't successful, like, there's not much you could do about that, you know. Um, I think Binary Helix is a human group, too. So they would, they would not be as, as well equipped to do it. Also, it might be illegal. I'm not actually sure. Okay, Julie. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Your business partner, Shorb. He's threatened you. Well, no, uh, not exactly. But he wants to meet with me. I think he's going to kill me. Uh -huh. And why do you think that? I, I can't really get into the details. But Shorbin will kill me if I leave here unprotected. I can't help you. Not unless you give me something more to go on. I... I can't. I'm sorry. Then I've got other work to do. But I... But nothing. Don't bother me unless you're willing to give me detail. Hey there! Hey there! Oh, you're not CSEC, are you? Did you want something? What were you trying to explain to the officer before? My colleague is trying to kill me. And I thought we were friends. I can't actually remember how this how this turns out. I'm pretty sure there are like twists and turns, and like s both of them are lying. I think at some point. I don't know. It. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't do this one very often. How do you know he wants you dead? He's changed. He won't talk to me at work anymore, and he started following me. Yesterday, he followed me all the way home just waiting for a chance. I don't care what anyone thinks. He wants me gone. 
I know it. Maybe he's just, like, if you look at it from an outsider's perspective, maybe he's just, like, making sure you aren't trying to, you know, sell information on him or something. I don't know. Is there something I can do? Uh, talk to your friend, maybe? Would you? That's all I want. Someone to talk to him. Tell him to leave me alone. He thinks he can just push me around, but you'll show him, won't you? Just tell me where he is and I'll go find him. Oh, right. Well, he wanted to meet with me down in the wards near the markets. He said he just wanted to talk, but I know better. His name's Shorban. He's a Salarian. You shouldn't have any trouble. He's just a scientist. Nah. Shorban. That's the guy who wanted us to scam the Keepers. The Keepers? Well, even more reason to go after him. That's against regulations. Mm. I better look into this right away. Find out what he's up to. Anything's possible with Shorbin these days. Well, good luck. I think the idea is to not, um... To not do this one too soon, because I think things can go wrong. Shorbin might actually be, like, trying to do something shady. But in the end, he can give you at least some, some info. If you scan all the keepers, he can give you some info and, like, you can complete that quest. And basically, by the time you're on, like, uh, yeah, oh, shoot, what's that last? The Prothean planet. I think he's like, hey, I have some information. I think the keepers and all this stuff, I think it's a good. He basically tells you what you figure out about the keepers at the end, and you're like, thanks. <laughs> Hello, Commander. Hi. I think there's a keeper. These rooms are so nice. Like, they're so shiny. I know there's. This, this, I swear, this was all so much darker before. They've, like, lightened everything up. Tracking terminal. Weapons locker. And a keeper. Codex and we're getting codex entries right and left. Oh yeah, and you can come in here and I think put a put a track put a put a listening bug in for Emily Wong. I think that does have consequences though. I think her her signal like can mess things up somehow. Like it's not you, it's just not like game changing or anything, but it does kind of make you feel bad. <laughs> You're like, oh, gee, oh, whoops. Anyway. This is why I'm just kind of walking around. Is because there's always stuff hidden in corners. See, 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 see. Da, 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 da. It must be hard for you, Garrus. Knowing that the person behind all this death and destruction is a Turian Spectre. Saren is either a traitor or a madman. Taking him down will restore the good name of Turians everywhere. Glad to hear it. I was losing sleep over the prospect of people not loving the Turians. Mm. <laughs> Honestly, they play it up a little bit at the beginning, the fact that Saren's a Turian. But then it never really comes back, and I don't know if that was just an oversight, or potentially just like the way they're like, just the way the system works, you know? It's like, oh, well, he's a Turian, so we're gonna cover it up, you know, type thing. We can't have people thinking too badly about the Turians. Um... I want to go to the club. We haven't gone to the nice club, though, to Flux, so yeah. There's a renegade quest over here, I think, as we walk in. They're like, it's a ho it's a, it's a hopping place, and it's just like, like Cora's Den, but with less strippers. You should be careful who you say that around. What? Everyone knows Fist is with the local criminals. Well, you do well, but I will be shouting at him now, Toss. Yeah, unless you want to end up on his hit list. Yes, I heard he actually buried some corpses. 
corpses under the stage at Cora's den. Uh, what, what, if, uh, what a dumb place. And it might explain the stench in that place. Yeah, I was like, eventually they would smell bad. It's out of my hands, Rita. I'd bring her back in a second, but she doesn't want to come. I know, I know. I'll see if I can talk some sense into her next time I see her. Everyone looks so nice. Be careful. You know how stubborn your sister is. The more you push and prod, the more she'll run away. Yeah, you're probably right. Thanks, Doran. Welcome to Flux. Name's Doran. What can I do for you? Is this a casino? Among other things, yes. We've got some quasar stations, uh, if you're interested. <laughs> Are you the owner? Owner, cook, and bartender. I've even been known to dance a little the dance. mood strikes me. <laughs> We've got some quasar stations, uh, if you're interested. Uh, okay. Awkward. <laughs> Enjoy your time here at Flux. Sorry, I'm kind of busy right now. So, uh, what can I do for you? What were you discussing with the Volus? Who, Doran? Oh, uh, I was just asking him about my sister. Say she worked for Doran before she left to... Uh, sorry, I don't want to bore you with my problems. I'm interested to hear what you have to say. I'm here to help. Well, Everyone. Okay. My sister Jenna left here to go work at Cora's den. The problem is, she's working as an informant for CSEC. You know, wow. and the people there. If they find out what she's doing, they'll kill her. Maybe you're not... Maybe you really... I, I've done this quest before, but it's like, maybe don't just go telling random people that. Like, you're gonna get her killed. Plus, if you're yelling it out the rooftops to Doran, like, oh, no, we gotta bring her back. Like, you know? It's like, no, stop. <laughs> Being an informant is a dangerous job. That's what I've been telling her. Mm, I don't know. Sometimes I think she stays there just to spite me. Do you know who her contact at CSEC is? No. It's all very secret. Last time I asked an officer, he told me to stay out of it, for Jenna's safety. Maybe I could help her understand just how dangerous Cora's den is. Would you? That'd be great. Just don't tell her I sent you. Well, I should get back to work before I get in trouble. <laughs> Thanks. This is, we're all, we're going about this so ham-handedly. He's been around the block. I guess they don't care what happened. Maybe. You can can is this one of the ones you can dance at? No? I'm waiting for someone else. Oh, okay. I don't I've never actually played Case Quasar, really. I don't usually do it. I think I did it once. Let's see. Uh, okay. Is like a yeah like a chance game really but I don't know how many moves you're technically allowed to have or what you know or maybe it doesn't matter but it stopped at when I got to 18 without going over closest to 20 without going over I guess if I would hit 20 it would have been Ooh. I would have gotten like 10 credits whoa The market's downstairs. Nobody else we can talk to. Oh, I don't want to go to the, I don't want to do the Chorbin thing yet. This is the one. Yeah. Because he's brought, like, 
<laughs> Solarians. And I think this Krogan actually, the, not this Krogan, not this one, this is Rex. This Krogan gets involved. Nope, don't worry about it, Charbon. I'm good, I'm good. I can't, I, you might be able to talk him out of it, I can't really remember. I do need to go up to the Presidium, though, before we leave. Should I do that right now? Uh, look for information. Oh, I, we haven't done that yet. What well, harm could there be in talking with if you meet him again? Ah! I need to do the Asari consort thing. I did speak with Shayir. Oh, that's right. But I do need to go talk to the Zeltan first. And you talk to Zeltan. And also there's the Hanar religious proselyting thing going on that I haven't clicked on yet. I haven't... I haven't scanned 16 out of 20, have I? I know there was one hidden behind the market. In the Presidium. Looks like it's shut down. This knows. Look out! Oh, are you dead? Okay. There's so many of them. Oh, dang. I don't know if I can get to him. Online. Uh, uh. Dang, they're all in like. Huh. huh, he says. Right in the kneecap. If I could just push you off. Too bad, really. All targets down. Is it? There it is. Oh, I think it's doing Rita, but Rita's not here right now. I was like, what's the exclamation point for? But yeah. Man, it's so much harder to see these now, I feel like. Come on. Stop right there. Don't come any closer. Warehouse workers. All the real guards must be dead. Stay back or we'll shoot. This would be a good time to find somewhere else to work. <laughs> yeah, love... yeah, right. That's a good <laughs> I, love... no, I never like fisting. <laughs> yeah, 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 I love that, Chef. Would have been quicker to just kill them. Shooting people isn't always the answer. Yeah. Garrus. Nice. Ooh, a 
let's give me give me that actually. Oh no. Ooh, ah. Since I can only use the stinking pistols. Hmm. I'm good. Nope. Oh. oh. That was slightly better heat sink capacity, but I am not that interested. Uh, the accuracy rating of a shotgun, please. All right. It's accurate when I'm in the when I'm in its face. Whatever when I'm in whatever I'm trying to shoot's face. My health isn't regenning. Is that a is that a hecking? Oh my gosh! I don't. Whoa! Why is? Oh, that's why. Hang on, I can. Hang on. What is my dang nab? Get down! Heal button. There we go. Is that not? It doesn't bring him back. I thought it did. Oh, I'm sad. Uh, oh my gosh, these turrets are ridiculous. I don't think warp does anything. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, it does a little. Up. All patched up. Nope, nope, wrong button. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, it's because I don't have any more mines. I don't have any more mines for the freak. Oh my gosh. Patching you up. Patching you up, aka me. Okay. Wait! Don't kill me, I surrender. Where's the Quarian? She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. Wait, wait. I don't know where the Quarian is, but I know where you can find her. The Quarian isn't here. Said she'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. Nobody meets the Shadow What a scrub! Broker, ever. Even I don't know his Even truth. I. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Give me the location. Now. You're on the wards. The back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. What are you doing? The Shadow Broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. You can keep Fist alive if you don't bring Rex, but really, it's like your like your initial th reaction is like, oh, I should bring Rex. He's after Fist, but Rex was paid to kill him, and he tells you that, so you gotta, you know, if you, uh, you know, you gotta take that into account. And if you don't, you get to be surprised by this. We don't shoot unarmed prisoners. How many people died because of him? He brought this on himself. Besides, we have more pressing concerns. That quarian's dead if we don't go now. Ah! Uh, also, I know where she is, so I'm not too concerned. Oh, where is it? There it is. Okay. Can I go out this way? No? Break. I gotta. That's right, you gotta fight through everybody to get back. Why are they fighting for him when he's dead? 
That just seems completely unnecessary. Oh, come on. Get up. I am trying. Are we gonna, are we gonna do it? I played this game, which I don't know if you guys have watched my other series, you probably know, but first time I played this game, I lost Tally because I couldn't, I could not find this room for the life of me. I just, I ran around and I did it like twice, I couldn't find her and I lost her two times. It was, it was amazing. My obliviousness is amazing. Where's the shadow broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. Cover. You didn't go fast enough. No tick abilities for you. Ow! Ow! What did you do to me? They said they really said no no tick abilities for me either. Catching you up. Catching me up. that to me just set me up I knew I couldn't trust him. Hello, Tally! were you hurt in the fight I know how to look after myself not that I don't Tally! appreciate the help who are you Tally! I'm so excited to see her when I played a male ship I romanced Tally in two and a little bit in three but I didn't get very far I don't, I don't did I I don't think I even quite saw her yet in three when I started it, because I was like, I don't want to play this game. I want a romance thing. <laughs> I wanted to play a femship. Um. My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life, but not here. We need to go somewhere. She safe. looks so we take good. Her to the human embassy. Your ambassador will want to see this anyway. Wow! Her armor looks so good! You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards, an all-out assault on Korra's Do you, you know, know how, how many? many? Who's this? The Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? She looks so good! Look at her! Ah, I can't handle it! Ah. Making your day, Ambassador. She has information linking Saren to the Geth. Really? Maybe you better start at the beginning, miss. My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. She's Along so rich! The stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. What kinds of things do you look for? It could be resources like curious. food or fuel, or some type of useful technology, or even knowledge that will make life easier on the flotilla. 
Through our pilgrimage, we prove that we will contribute to the community, rather than being a burden on our limited resources. I feel like that's gotta have, like, a high casualty rate, though, but I don't know, it kind of depends, right? Like, it depends on the way you, like, not necessarily, like, people, like, because there are some Koreans that never come back just because they decide that they like life better outside the flotilla, right? But there's, there's whole psychological books written on stuff like this, you know? And I don't know if it's true or not. It may just be, like, a fictional thing. But supposedly the Amish have something similar, and they actually do have a lot of people returning after, like, their year into the world, you know? Um, but I just feel like sending your kids out... I mean, I guess missionaries do that. You send your kids out into the wider world and hope for the best. Uh, and then they return eventually. Anyway, I just feel like it's it's very dangerous, <laughs> especially for Quarians. But anyway, Shepard's too curious for her own good. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Veil. Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, careful, and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean, but I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. Beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the god. Oh my gosh. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the conduit. Any idea what that means? The conduit must have something to do with the beacon. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. We always think of weapons. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. It couldn't be something nice like uh, terraforming technology. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. The Reapers! I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. I feel like I've heard that name before. According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. Uh -huh. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. Dun, dun, dun. The Council is just going to love this. The Reapers are a threat to every species in Citadel space. We have to tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audio files prove Saren's a traitor. The Captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her, the Quarian? My name. My name is Tali. <laughs> You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. Yes! <laughs> Thought you were on your pilgrimage. The pilgrimage proves we are willing to give of ourselves for the greater good. What does it say about me if I turn my back on this? Saren is a danger to the entire galaxy. My pilgrimage can wait. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. They're like, you're just, you're just Anderson recruiting and I aliens? Will go ahead to get things ready with the council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the town. I'm like, heck yeah, humans are boring. Anyway, uh, if you want to, this is my squad. This is my OG squad. Look at that. Look at that perfect balance. Although usually I play a soldier, so anyway. <laughs> so I think usually this, the soldiery stuff is, um... A like a back in the day when I played the soldier, yeah, the combat strength was a little higher. And I do love, I actually really do love the whole, like, balance. Of, like, I, I know some people are like, it doesn't matter, I just bring out who I like, you know. But the, the Rex and the Tally squad I brought out initially because I liked how balanced it was. So, anyway. 
Yay! Anyways, episode's gone on for a little bit longer than I was hoping, but thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. We'll address all of this stuff, this glowing stuff, when I get back. But we're here. We have everybody except Liara, who will I usually go get next. So, anyway, thank you all so much for joining me. I appreciate it, and I hope to see you in the next one.